hey lovely people in today's video i will be sharing a sad news it's so unfortunate but it's important every one of us hear this news and please watch to the end one of our um, african nurses who migrated to the uk precisely in january um we lost her recently um she's a registered nurse and she migrated to the united kingdom in january and so she died why after closing from work she was driving home after a night shift and then she died so we lost her she's actually a single mom of two kids 18 years and 15 years um may her soul rest in peace and um we're going to talk a bit about that in today's video so if you're meeting me for the very first time my name is violet okolocha i'm also a registered nurse and i live and i practice here in the united kingdom and i'm from nigeria so do me a favor share this video like this video and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> Ryan Little. <laughs> so guys, um, there are important lessons I would want us to learn generally from this. Um, she's such a beautiful nurse. I saw her picture and I was like, oh my god, this lady is just so beautiful to die. Um, may I so rest in peace. Uh, she's one of our African nurses who migrated to the United Kingdom in January and she died a week ago. Why she closed from a night shift, she was driving home and she died. She's a single mother, she has two lovely kids. Um, guys, I just want to quickly say this to every one of us don't put yourself under any pressure at all, either to bring in your family members or to help anybody. You see, um, the United Kingdom is hard it's not easy in any country neither is it easy in the united kingdom at the end of the month you pay a lot of bills every month is when we pay our house rents in the united kingdom every month is when we pay our nepa bill known as electricity bill every month is when we pay our broadband every month is when we pay for our gas Every month is when we pay for our council tax. If you have a car every month, is it that you pay your car insurance or you pay yearly or you pay your road tax every month or you pay yearly? So you see, the, you, this country is such that you have to work, work, work for you to meet up with that bill. Now, that is enough pressure already for you. So you don't want to put yourself in any other pressure. So it's a lesson. Don't put yourself too much on pressure because you want to get things done easily. Because you want to help your family members. Let them know the situation at hand in the United Kingdom. It's not easy anywhere. United Kingdom is no bed of roses. That's number one. Number two, you are not a Shaddai. You cannot solve everybody's problem. If people call you back home, and tell you of how hard things are and you don't have learn to tell them you don't have don't put yourself under any undue pressure to want to go out of your way to pick up a shift even when you are tired guys it's good to help but any helper who does not apply wisdom we become poorer and poorer and poorer. It's very good to help people. I, for once, I help a lot. But then, don't put yourself under undue pressure to help people. It is good to help. Even Bible say help. But you must help with wisdom. Don't put yourself under undue pressure because you want to help anybody. I tell you, I picked up a shift in 2021 and I went for the shift and when I got there and we are a lot of nurses who worked that night sadly one of the nurses slumped she slumped so why she slumped they took her to the emergency actually 
they did all they could for her she survived actually but the irony of it is when they came the next morning to take over from us they were asking us the time she slumped so they changed her shift because she was an agency staff so they changed her shift to the time she slumped that's to tell you that a lot of things you are pursuing in life is not worth it listening to your health listening to your body learn to rest if you have to learn to rest if you have to guys it's good to set long-term goals for yourself it's good to set short-term goals for yourself oh, i'm in the united kingdom i have to buy a house in two years that's fine if you don't achieve it it's also fine anytime you buy a house in the united kingdom we will celebrate you we will clap for you but don't put yourself under undue pressure because you want to get these things done listen to your body as much as possible learn to work hard bible has said it we should work hard but then no when to rest no when to sleep if you have been doing night shift and you discover that doing a lot of nights is stressing you talk with your managers i'm not coping well on nights so that they can put you on days and if you're doing nights and you are tired park on the road and sleep when you wake up you continue your journey if the police come knocking at your car like they do when they see packed cars for some time, tell them, oh, sorry, I'm all right. I'm just exhausted. I just want to catch some sleep before I continue. Because it's not easy. It's not easy. You you, you can't solve everybody's problem. Um, may I so rest in peace. But guys, don't put yourself on that undue pressure because you want to get things done. Because you want to meet up with them. If you also are emotionally down, especially for those who are single or for those who are married, for some reasons or the other, you're just mentally down. Take time off work. Call your GPs. Tell them, I am not mentally stable to work. I am not mentally all right to work. They will give you sick off for a period of one month or so. Rest. Rest. Have first before money. If you are a senior nurse, you are a band six, you are a band seven, the rule is stressing you. You are getting choked. Don't say, oh, I have a lot. I, I, I want to tell them I can do it quit take go down to a lesser room we've seen band seven we've seen band eight c's step down to a lesser room for their own mental health so don't don't, don't put yourself under any pressure oh a lot of my mates are band six band seven calm down band six is not running band seven is not running band eight is not running don't put yourself under any unnecessary pressure guys it's not worth it i tell you it's not worth it please take care of your children if you are married or if you are single take care of your husband family first give yourself time go for birthday parties go for celebration don't work monday to sunday and you're not going for any celebration you're just working 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 and sending all the money back home so that they buy properties for you no 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 it's all not about property it's all about living a healthy life all right guys i really don't want this video to be too long and um tell me what you've learned in the comment section and all in all seek ye face the kingdom of god and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto you god bless you